It's no secret that the cost of building the California high-speed railway has been increasing at a much faster rate than anticipated. When voters approved Proposition 1A in 2008, the cost estimate for constructing this railway from San Francisco to Los Angeles was projected to be $33 billion. However, as of June 2022, construction costs had climbed to $105 billion. It's three times the original price. So why is the construction cost for the California High Speed Railway increasing to the day? If you want to know, keep watching this video. Let's start with a little introduction to this railway. The construction of the California High Speed Railway project is being done with a vision to connect the major cities of California with a high speed railway network. This will help increase the traffic of people from one town to another and the trade relationship between the states. The project was started in 2008 and was planned to be completed by 2020. However, it kept getting delayed due to numerous factors, with COVID-19 being the biggest. The overall cost of the project has continuously increased from its inception. At the beginning of construction, the cost of construction was estimated to be around $33 billion. Then it jumped to $64 billion in the next few years. After that, there was a rail of business plans that were proposed with increased prices. First, it was $77 billion, then $98 billion, and then finally $117 billion. However, the recently estimated cost was $105 billion. There are several reasons behind the increased price of the project. The main reason is the increased distance between the terminals. The train tracks are being built as far as possible from the main areas to reduce community disruption. The recent rise in price was due to the new business plan that aimed at moving the train rails away from Caesar E. The rail yards, stations, and tracks have been extended and the number of grade crossings has been cut down to make the infrastructure more reliable and away from the central communities. Only the main stations are being built inside the major cities. The additional land acquisition, the additional construction material, and the additional workforce have created an additional cost for the project. The parties also decided that they would provide extra hours of work and thus additional fees to get the project completed. Therefore, the date of completion has also been pushed further to the end of this decade. Even though some of the parts will be completed in 2024, the whole infrastructure will be open to the public in 2030. Moreover, in 2009, the construction price was $175 per square foot, but now that number has climbed to $400 per square foot. Therefore, the cost of construction increased by 125%, which is quite a lot. The materials and other equipment used in the project have also increased in price, due to which the project's total cost has grown. However, another main reason behind the increase in cost still remains the delay in the project's progress due to COVID-19. As mentioned earlier, other factors include the increase in wages, additional work, and other administrative costs. In 2010, the average salary of the workers was $24.85 an hour, but now it's increased to $34.75 an hour. The main reason for the pay increase is the cost of living. The cost of work has also increased due to the additional hours to complete the job in time. The administrative costs have increased in the project, which means the management cost has also increased. It was known from the beginning that the construction cost would increase if the project was delayed. Now the price is a whopping $105 billion and the construction has been delayed by several years. A quick reminder before we further continue our discussion on this topic. If you've enjoyed the video so far, consider subscribing as we frequently upload such informative and educational videos. Let's continue. The cost effectiveness of this project can be increased if number one, the time of construction is reduced to complete the project in time. If the time of construction is reduced, then the project will be completed in a shorter period without increasing additional costs and without expanding the scope of this project. Number two, the project is increased to include additional improvements such as solar power and reducing waste. This will save money in the long run and this will help in reducing the cost of construction 
because the sources needed for construction would be further reduced by using renewable sources. Number three, hiring a multitasking workforce with further decreased project costs. This workforce will also help ensure the project is completed on time. Number four, increasing campaigns to collect funding for the project. The Raise or the Rebuilding America's Infrastructure with Sustainability and Equity program has just awarded a $25 million grant to the California High Speed Rail Authority on the 11th of August. This funding will be used to help meet the construction costs for connecting San Diego to Los Angeles by high speed rail. According to our calculations, California won $3.5 billion when Barack Obama was president. Donald Trump's former administration rescinded about $1 billion of this. Fortunately, it's been reinstated by the Biden administration. The project is waiting for more funding from the Biden government and has been looking for more from the state. Last year, Governor Gavin Newsom's proposal to release $4.2 billion from the voter-approved bond fund for a project that was not approved by the state legislature. Some Democratic politicians in the state assembly have been doubtful about releasing funding for this project because the project's scope remains a little unclear and nobody is willing to fund it. At the beginning of this year, Anthony Rendon and Laura Friedman, the assembly speaker and assemblywoman, suggested that this project's authorities further delay its construction. This allowed for a more comprehensive evaluation of the feasibility of the project. Given the overall situation, this project needs more funding to meet the construction costs as soon as possible. Campaigns should be launched to collect donations and to get the word out about this project. The public engagement study will help authorities determine what type of service would work for them. It will also include input from local residents living along the route as well as experts. The project has already been delayed by more than 10 years. The contractor has promised to put the project on track and meet the deadline. The California High Speed Railway project aims to test the new high speed train by 2025 and have it fully certified by 2027. The first batch of the fully electric trains will run on rails in the following two to three years. According to the current business plan, we hope the whole project will be completed by the end of this decade and open to the public. How do you think the authorities can speed up the construction process without increasing the construction cost? Share your views with us in the comment section below. If you find this type of video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family and subscribe to Made Well Finder so that we can keep making such fantastic videos for you. Thanks for watching.